If you click this video, it's either you knew what this video was going to address, or you really didn't know what Lua scripting is. It is something related to cheating in online games. Cheating in online FPS, first person shooter, games refers to the act of using unauthorized methods or software to gain an unfair advantage over other players. This can include things like using aimbots, wall hacks, and other hacks that give players an edge in gameplay. Cheating can negatively affect the integrity and fairness of online gameplay and can lead to consequences such as account bans and legal action. In order to make this more understandable, let's focus on one of the popular FPS games, Apex Legends. Based on Game Rant published in March 6, 2023, Cheating in Apex Legends is an ongoing problem, with many players reporting encountering cheaters in increasing numbers. The game's developers have implemented a new anti-cheat system and hired additional staff to combat cheating. Despite these efforts, cheating remains a persistent issue in the game. To some people, this issue is somewhat mediocre and only happens in specific games. But to the veterans, Almost all games will have at least a cheater and it's been an ongoing problem forever. It's safe to say that people will always be able to find new ways to cheat in games no matter how the anti-cheat was upgraded. For Apex Legends, these cheat was usually achieved by downloading cheating software that they bought or rent from the provider which could do, if not all, some actions such as aimbot. This is a software that allows players to automatically aim and shoot at enemies with high precision, giving them an unfair advantage. Wall hack, also known as ESP, extrasensory perception, this cheat enables players to see through walls, terrain, and other obstacles, allowing them to locate enemies with ease. Speed hack, this cheat enables players to move faster than normal, making it difficult for opponents to track or hit them. Radar hack, this cheat shows the locations of all players on the map, allowing the user to track the movements of enemies. Recoil hack, this cheat reduces the recoil of weapons, making it easier to land shots with high accuracy. Exploits, these are unintended bugs or glitches in the game that can be exploited by players to gain an unfair advantage, such as being able to move through walls or shoot through them. So, where does Lua scripting fall into all of these? Well, it's not as straightforward as you would expect. Lua scripting is a programming language used to create scripts or macros that automate tasks in software applications or video games. Lua scripts can be used to create custom user interfaces, automate repetitive actions, or even create cheats for video games. The language is known for its simplicity and flexibility, and it is commonly used in many different applications, including game engines like Unity and Unreal Engine. Lua scripting can be a powerful tool for enhancing productivity and improving the user experience in many different software applications. And luckily enough, Lua scripting is available and executable via Logitech G Hub, a software that can be linked to your Logitech device, which meant people could put a script which automated the mouse movement. Which is why there's a lot of people creating sharing or even selling Lua script code which could do multiple things such as providing counter recoil, jitter aiming and more. You must be thinking, this surely is able to flag the game anti-cheat software, no. Well, not really. In fact, there are a lot of factors on why it is so. Lua scripts are difficult to detect by anti-cheat systems like easy anti-cheat because they are not compiled into an executable file. Instead, Lua scripts are interpreted at runtime by the game engine or application, making them harder to detect through traditional anti-cheat methods. Easy anti-cheat and other anti-cheat systems typically use heuristic-based detection methods to identify cheats in games. This involves looking for patterns of behavior that are indicative of cheating, such as abnormal player movements, sudden increases in accuracy or damage, or the use of prohibited third-party software. However, because Lua scripts are interpreted at runtime, they do not always exhibit these obvious patterns of behavior. Additionally, because Lua scripts are often used for legitimate purposes, such as creating custom keybinds or macros, it can be difficult to differentiate between legitimate script usage and cheating. 
there are even multiple posts in online forums that confirm this, saying that excessive or perfect aim control via Lua script would spike the anti-cheat program, however it can easily be avoided by editing the script to make it less excessive and less obvious. Some even say it will be hard to detect, and the only thing you need to worry about is a massive report from another player. Some said since the Lua scripts adjust the mouse movement and not a coding injection, it wasn't detected by the anti-cheat, or perhaps they just don't care outside of the internal coding. There is even discussion on easy anti-cheat being having bad performance of detecting cheaters. The reason why I made this video is because there are none or even more videos talking about this issue. If you search this topic on YouTube, most of the video is a guide on how you could achieve the same result. I am tired of players who use such things and get away with it. I don't know if this video will reach anyone, but one of the methods I can think of to fight this exploit is for the developer of the software itself, for example Logitech G-Hub to make the software to upload and regulate any Lua scripting the user created. This way they are able to detect the intention of the coding and immediately disable the script. As optimist I want to be in this video, people will still keep using Lua script to have an advantage in the game especially if the dev still hasn't upgraded their anti-cheat system or even to just regulate the Lua script code to instant disable them if needed. However, there is still hope if all of us request such a solution from the developers. Thanks for watching the videos.